Oh, for God's sakes, Peter, I am so tired of you not making an effort to be a part of this family. Lois, I drove us here, I bought the tickets, I'm sadly shuffling through this place with you. What more do you want? I... Welcome to my hologram laboratory. This machine scans your data, then creates a virtual hard light version of you that can physically interact with the world. You can command them to perform any human task, no matter how menial. Can I have it? I'm afraid not. It's my only one. Maybe there are other arrangements we can make? Man, this machine is complicated. I hope I can figure it out. Hello, Peter Griffin. I am hologram Peter Griffin. Oh, How sweet. If this works out, I'll have more time for those QAnon rallies. Ah, oh, Peter, there you are. Listen. Oh, crap, I'm stuck. Hey, it's Peter Griffin. Yep, trapped in the painting again. I know, I know. Oh, Peter, thanks for clearing out an area for us to start a garden. This yeah. is great, but I'm a little hot. No problem. That's why I bought a giant sun hat that can fit yes. all of us. <laughs> Boy, they look pretty happy. Maybe it's time to start writing the family Christmas letter. Ah, oh, Peter, that's a great idea. Yeah, good luck, pal. Our Christmas letter always runs aground because our family has no accomplishments. Bezzle. And ah. Lois celebrated her 29th birthday this year. <laughs> oh, Peter. That's, that's very funny. <clears throat> what the hell? It's time for hologram Peter to go back inside the machine where he came from. Give me that. You're not the only one who can do things for this family. <clears throat> Let's head down there together and sort this out. Where's the machine? I left it right over here. As Peter lost consciousness, well, what's the cheapest thing you got? Probably a near-the-register cookie. Well, put me down for one of those. Why? What happened? I knocked you out and tied you up. Why? Because they're my family now. <laughs> You don't deserve your family. I care about them way more than you ever did. That's not true. And once I finish you, they'll be all mine. Oh, man. This is worse than... Well, we had meatloaf tonight, so I guess I'm in for a Dutch oven. What's a Dutch oven? Um, Peter, I, I need to go downstairs. Okay, but be careful. I just mopped the kitchen floor. Stewie, wake up. We gotta go. Chris, come on. We gotta go. Yeah. Ah! Ah! Going somewhere, family. <laughs> I didn't want to have to tie you up. I did everything for yes. you. Let my family go. <gasps> I'm impressed. All right, fat guy fight rules. We grab at each other's shirts until we're out of breath and then a three-minute break. Got it. <laughs> now for the final download. Everything in your mind. <gasps> Joke's on you. There's nothing in there. Guys, Dad needs help. Oh. There are other kinds of electricity. By simply rubbing my feet on the carpet, I may be able to generate enough static electricity to do the job. So, Stuart, I got rhythm, da-da music. Oh, the expert. But I got through the title. It <laughs> it's working. Quick, everyone, hold hands. We have to reach Peter. Lois, use your toe. I haven't had a pedicure in four weeks. Just do it. We won't look. Peter, touch my toe. Yeah. Do it. Peter, the hologram was you. He 
was just the best version of you. You can get there. It'll just take work. No, the deal was I promised to be half as good as a fake thing. Well, Peter, I'm glad you're safe and everything's back to normal. Wow, Jerome, what's with the wheelchair? Well, it was date night with my lady friend. I put on some Teddy Pendergrass. One thing led to another. We started making love halfway up the stairs. Then I lost my footing and tumbled down half a flight. Buck Nike. Anyway, I busted my knee really bad. So here I am. Ah, oh, jeez, that stinks, yeah. Jerome. Relax, it's not so bad. I bet you're going to discover some cool new things that you couldn't do when you were walking. Like that stall is for the differently abled, you know. <laughs> oh, I'm... I'm sorry. Yeah, sure you are. Hey, you mind flush it for me, pal? No arms over here. Well, I suppose it's the least I could do. Oh, my God, it's bigger than you. <laughs> okay, Cleveland, you're mostly out of shape. Thankfully, all postmen have mountain climber leg muscles. Those will be our focus here. They really that strong looking? It's like a lady bodybuilder's oh, boob. Wait. All right, I let's get started. That's it. There we go. Now throw that bad boy up on the mailbox. That's it, jizz on me. Jizz on me, yes. Jizz on me. Here you go, fellas. Hey, Jerome, great to see you back on your feet already. You're telling me. That calendar of yours paid for my surgery. And then some. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're having a laugh, all right. Might say everybody's having a ball, right, Mr. Brown? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's start at my navel and work Zipped. down. Neatly pressed crease running down to... <gasps> my taco pebble! Damn, Mr. Brown. Larry Bird ought to be diving through here any second, because that's a loose ball. You wanted to see me, sir? To carry around an extra sack! Sir, you, you don't understand. You've left me no choice. You're fired. I... Now turn. Gah, bah, bah. Bless. Come on, Cleveland. You've been moping around all week. You know what? Why don't you swing by the brewery tomorrow? I'll buy you lunch. Did you say an insensitive joke and now need to prove to everyone that you have a black friend? See you there, buddy. Griffin, what the hell is going on? We've got a dozen delivery trucks that are days behind schedule. Um, Mind if this goose takes a gander? The mail trucks use the car. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. What's your name? Cleveland Brown, sir. Mr. Brown, this operation could certainly use a man with your expertise. Mr. Lloyd, I think we can get back on track if we just optimize our loadouts. Road. My goodness, why haven't we been doing that all along? Cleveland, you... I'm hereby promoting you to Vice Executive Managing Director in charge of lengthy titles. Wow, thank you, sir. Hey, good for you, Cleveland. Good for all of us. Good whoa, for whoa, whoa, wait a minute. You're kicking me out of my own Besides, office? You won't need an office for your new assignment. I'm putting you in charge of kitchen banter. Hey, how come you were only pregnant for four months? Griffin! Sorry, it's my first day. It was bad enough with Mr. Lloyd thinking Cleveland's better than me. Now it's all our friends, too. Use this as motivation. Think of how good it'll feel to prove your friends and Mr. Lloyd wrong. Now I'm That's gonna... exactly what I'll do. I bet they won't think Cleveland's so great when I get him fired. Hello, I'm Inspector Daniels from the health department. That's a backstage pass from a Muse concert. Huh. I received an anonymous tip that there's a rat nesting in the main beer tank. I'm here to check it out. What's this now? Well, I... Saw... <laughs> hmm. Maybe I misheard the tipster. <laughs> I found your rat in the tank during my rounds this morning. Why'd you do it, Peter? <sighs> I'm sorry. Just... Griffin, I was just informed that you tried to sabotage this operation by putting vermin in the beer tank. This is the last straw, Griffin. You are fired. Wait! You can't fire Peter, sir. And why's that? If you fire Peter Griffin, Sir, you fire your customer, the beer-loving everyman that makes up the hunched backbone of this country. In fact, I'm officially turned her in my resignation and recommending Peter Griffin as my replacement. Thank you for seeing me, sir. 
I'm going to get right to it and say being a postman is who I am. With and this I'm... rubber band, I will sense the offending testicle so that it can never dangle nor sway where it does not belong. Here I go. Turns out we couldn't fire you without running it by the union head. Welcome back, Cleveland. <laughs> and there goes my ball. Here's your rubber band back. You, you can keep it. <laughs> <laughs>